There. This is Priscilla Vatzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression of Star Studio Gallery. Noticing that my turntable is a little off kilter. And trying to square it in the camera. That's my paint pouring dish that I will probably shovel out of. And I will make up a pan of colors right now. Starting with starting with nothing if the Anita's white metallic doesn't come out. That's pretty weird. It's got a really big top in it. Wow, that's quite the plug. No more plug. And I'm going to use colors that I've been wanting to use. They're kind of obnoxious. That is, that was a sergeant's yellow. And then I put some orange unicorn spit in it, but I'm not sure what it is right now. This time, I'm going to try for a copious amount of paint in just puddles. Because as much as I love the stripes, I haven't really tried the puddle method in every way possible. And if you know me at all, you know I have intentions. That's pretty cool. I learned new things about colors from my Lola silicone mat, from my, from my paper towels. Look at that beautiful blue and that neon purple and the little bits of orange. That's just gorgeous. Notice everything. Notice everything everywhere. All the time. Now I'm going to try and put some blue on the background along with some white. What else do I need? I want some... I want some red this time. What's it feel like to want? It was just open a minute ago. I swear. I'm lying. Okay, well, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to have my red no matter what. I'm just going to drop it right in there. I recognize... I'm going to put this someplace where I can add some Floetrol to it because it's super, super, duper thick. And it needs to be fixed. Then we're going to do some Hot Orchid along with that red. I've got some some more golden product, golden magenta, which is what I used in the last painting. This has got iridescent pearl fine in it, and it's similar, but not the same. Now I keep thinking I'm looking for something, and I am. It's the color shifting red from Folk Art. If I have colors left over, I'll find a way to use them. I've got some purple I didn't use. And it's a nice, nice potential sky color. What is that? Is that a thing? That's an Arteza. It's very similar to a few other things. What do I like the best in there? I like the hot orchid the best. Well, there is a diamond pink by Color Art. That's the replacement, or as close as I can guesstimate. I did put any of my color shifting purple from Folk Art. Alright, so I'm thinking that that is probably enough. I would really like this to behave. I got my Lolafie mat all riled up so it's not level underneath my turntable. If I need another color, I'll add it. Temptation is to put blue in there just because blue would be pretty. Now, I need white, and I'm using Artist Loft White, and I'm going to give myself a damp edge. I think I am. Let's just do it. My fingers will have paint on them, but that's okay. Is this, is, this needs to have, paint will flow to paint, and it needs to have a wet background. Now you could probably do it on a dry one, but that's not this. Get as much paint off of there as I can, or onto the canvas as I can. And use one of my towels to get the rest off as best I can for the moment. 
Now this is a horse of a different color for me because I am not used to working with the gallery wrap canvases. And that is not enough paint by a long shot. And there will be a lot more because I'm intending on tipping and I'd like to tip far enough so that it goes over the edges. But you know what? I'm not that concerned with it not right now. Not sure what I'm going to do with the land, but I'm pretty sure that this is going to be fairly simple. That's got to go. Fairly simple. I always say that. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily ring true. I want a layer. So if I can see canvas, there's not enough paint there. Canvas texture, I should say. Let's be specific. I know, getting a canvas ready is not exciting and probably most people have skipped ahead to see what's coming. Now I like to use the Anita's White Metallic mostly because it's the least expensive thing that I can buy next to the Artist Loft. But since I have the Artist Loft and I just mixed up a large bottle of it, I'm thinking that that would probably be okay. I'm going to make sure there's no drips going down on the sides and there are drips on all sides because that was not an insignificant insignificant layer I added. So let's go for it. That is definitely going for it. Let's go a little bit more up and over. And I'm kind of counting on the fact that there'll be enough paint when I add it to it to make it want to go down take all of the paint off my spatula and grab a shovel. I want more yellow and I'm not seeing that I'm being able to keep it so I'm going to definitely put some in there. seems to either, it's either sinking or being swallowed, which sounds like the same thing, but probably isn't. I'll let that shovel rest and deposit. I really want some blue in there. Why do I want some blue? Maybe a little Prussian blue. I kind of think a little gray wouldn't be a bad thing either. Let's grab. I was going to call it the last shovel full, but it's really not. There's another one in there. <clears throat> Let's get my colors out of the way as best I can. Think whether I want some silver or not, or some of this Decord Americana 24 karat gold that I have added orange to, which I actually like really strangely with yellow. Now it's time to see if the edge catcher that I have, boy, that lolify mat is not making me happy today. I just figure if it's bunched up underneath the feet, then the chances are I've got a very unlevel turntable, and I don't like the sound of that at all. All right, so here goes nothing. Sorry about taking a minute. Now I've got a super long edge catcher, which I don't need because I've got one that's the exact right length, good for me. I want that to go over the top. Can I do that? Let's start there. Let's let everything go up. And squeeze it down. And then over. I like the watercolor effect. I'm really hoping that there's going to be enough paint here. And I don't know if I've ever successfully navigated a gallery wrapped edge catcher, but I'm going to try. Come on, down you go and press. And this way. This way I need to turn it around the other way. Yes, I do. 
there's a lot of paint on there and this is a heavy canvas and I'm going to try and I'm going to have to stick my finger in there whether I want to or not. Figure if it's in a solid color I can always cover it again. Well so far so good. I'm going to keep the paint that's on my edge catcher. I'm going to try and cover the edges of my canvas. And create an interesting sky and I'm loving that sky. That sky is cool. So it's not straight stripes, never mind. Sometimes it's good to just appreciate what you get. And since I already covered white in my canvas, I could keep those areas up here. Or I could cover my paint. Or I could pick the colors that I like right off my edge catcher. Cover the top of my canvas. And that edge and not worry about it. Pretty. I like it. I wish I could just get myself to do something super simple like black and white for a landscape below. I'm just using my finger and the drips from the shovel. And now I'm going to try and take a spatula. Well, I am in a minute. I'm going to use whatever dregs are coming out of my shovel. I could use one of my one of my Princeton Artful Catalyst spatulas. And I think I probably will add another stripe across. But I'm going to have to be careful because I didn't let the paint get as thin as I like to have it in a layer to really not endanger the next level that I add. But I do use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixtures, which means, in truth, that if I leave my paint heavy, and it's expensive, there's no doubt about it, that every time I leave a layer of paint on, it's heavy. That means, also, that means that I don't have to worry about it. I need to look at this to make sure I'm doing... Yes, I'm happy with that. I'm just going to keep removing... Come here. Paint from my edge catcher, because I have... Oh, a whole lot of really nice, beautiful, and very pure colors. And if I'm going to just use my Amsterdam black, white, and other colors. <laughs> now I've got uh, dioxazine purple mixed with some, some Aussie Floetrol. Now I like those. And I like the white because it implies clouds. And I'm going to grab a straw if I can find one. And I've got pink someplace. And I usually like that very much. Because it blends with everything else very nicely. And I might be tempted to take a chance and tip down. But if that doesn't seem like a good idea, I'm going to quit while I'm ahead and be happy for what I've got. Now I've got a lot of paint hanging around different places, dripping on things. Because like I said, I'm really not used to doing gallery rough canvases. But it doesn't mean I'm not capable. It just means, it means I need time to adjust. And my edge catcher is absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to use some more Anita's white metallic right below this. And hope I can get away with tipping for a moment. Because my colors are moved down plenty far. 
yeah, I think I'm going to like the tip. I might even like to move that over a little bit. Uh, almost too far, or maybe just perfect. So I'm going to grab one of my OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatulas. Try and use. Oh, I lost my break. There we go. I want some white in there. I use my bendy straw with the bend toward the painting so I can aim. I see a color that I'm not thrilled with, and I need my spatula. There it is. Come on, you can do it. Maybe you can't. Let's grab some more colors. Now I've got I was going to say I've got all kinds of cool colors on that edge catcher, but I'm not sure I like what I've got right at the moment. That doesn't mean that I can't spread it down though. I am going to throw... There we go. I'm running out of time again. I just can't do one of these in the time allowed. It's just too elaborate. need a basic wet layer down below. I don't mind thinking that I might have to cover the edges. But I'm don't, not exactly sure how I'm going to finish the lung. There we go. That'll work. Not just the pink, but the white also. Alright, I say that, I keep saying that, yes? I'm going to worry about my bottom later and try and grab a little bit of everything now. That was the Prussian blue. Some silver. Grab some of these colors right off of my edge catcher. I can cover the bottom too. I've got drips of paint everywhere. Go figure. I've got some green left from my last painting. I figure if I get a base layer on, then Whatever happens after that, I can add on top. Even if they seem like fairly fugly colors at the time, it doesn't matter. I've got two minutes. Actually, I've probably only got one minute. <laughs> but I'm a lot lost right now in my work. So I'll show you guys really quickly. I'm not sure what's going to happen with the bottom, but I'm going to try and do it very shortly. So if this is what you see, I'm so sorry that you're not getting to see the full, the complete finished piece. I'm going to grab my Australian Floatrol with my green. Here's my green. I wish I could finish for you guys. I'm so sorry. We'll give it a shot. <laughs> 